God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Remember us, O Lord. Come with your saving help. Alleluia. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Who can tell the Lord's mighty deeds? Who can recount all his praise? They are happy who do what is right, who at all times do what is just. O Lord, remember me, out of the love you have for your people. Come to me, Lord, with your help, that I may see the joy of your chosen ones, and may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, and share the glory of your people. Our sin is the sin of our fathers. We have done wrong. Our deeds have been evil. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, paid no heed to your wonderful deeds. They forgot the greatness of your love. At the Red Sea defied the Most High. Yet he saved them for the sake of his name, in order to make known his power. He threatened the Red Sea. It dried up. And he led them through the deep as through the desert. He saved them from the hand of the foe. He saved them from the grip of the enemy. The waters covered their oppressors. Not one of them was left alive. Then they believed in his words. Then they sang his praises. But soon they forgot his deeds and would not wait upon his will. They yielded to their cravings in the desert and put God to the test in the wilderness. He granted them the favor they asked and sent disease among them. Then they rebelled, envious of Moses and of Aaron, who was holy to the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and buried the clan of Abiram. Fire blazed up against their clan and flames devoured the rebels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Remember us, O Lord. Come Come with with your your saving help. help. Alleluia. Keep it carefully in mind. The Lord your God has made a covenant with you. Alleluia. They fashioned a calf at Horeb and worshipped an image of metal, exchanging the God who was their glory for the image of a bull that eats grass. They forgot the God who was their savior, who had done such great things in Egypt, such portents in the land of Ham, such marvels at the Red Sea. For this he said he would destroy them, But Moses, the man he had chosen, stood in the breach before him to turn back his anger from destruction. Then they scorned the land of promise. They had no faith in his word. They complained inside their tents and would not listen to the voice of the Lord. So he raised his hand to swear an oath that he would lay them low in the desert would scatter their sons among the nations and disperse them throughout the lands. They bowed before the Baal of Peor, ate offerings made to lifeless gods. They roused him to anger with their deeds, and a plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened. Thus the plague was ended, and this was counted in his favor from age to age forever. They provoked him at the waters of Meribah. Through their fault it went ill with Moses, for they made his heart grow bitter, and he uttered words that were rash. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Keep it carefully in mind. The The Lord Lord your God God has made a covenant covenant with you. Alleluia. Save your people, Lord. Bring us together from among the nations. Alleluia. 
they failed to destroy the peoples as the Lord had given command, but instead they mingled with the nations and learned to act as they did. They worshipped the idols of the nations, and these became a snare to entrap them. They even offered their own sons and their daughters in sacrifice to demons. They shed the blood of the innocent, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they offered to the idols of Canaan. The land was polluted with blood. So they defiled themselves by their deeds and broke their marriage bond with the Lord till his anger blazed against his people. He was filled with horror at his chosen ones. So he gave them into the hand of the nations, and their foes became their rulers. Their enemies became their oppressors. They were subdued beneath their hand. Time after time he rescued them, but in their malice they dared to defy him and sank low through their guilt. In spite of this, he paid heed to their distress, so often as he heard their cry. For their sake he remembered his covenant. In the greatness of his love he relented, and he let them be treated with mercy by all who held them captive. O Lord our God, save us. Bring us together from among the nations, that we may thank your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, forever, from age to age. Let all the people cry out, Amen, Amen, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord. Bring, Bring us together, together from among, among the nations. nations. Alleluia. God has given us a new birth into living hope. Alleluia. By raising Jesus Christ from the dead. Alleluia. From the book of Revelation. In the right hand of the one who sat on the throne, I, John, saw a scroll. It had writing on both sides and was sealed with seven seals. Then I saw a mighty angel who proclaimed in a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? But no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth could be found to open the scroll or examine its contents. I wept bitterly because no one could be found worthy to open or examine the scroll. One of the elders said to me, do not weep. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of David, has won the right by his victory to open the scroll with the seven seals. Then, between the throne with the four living creatures and the elders, I saw a lamb standing, a lamb that had been slain. He had seven horns and seven eyes. These eyes are the seven spirits of God sent to all parts of the world. The Lamb came and received the scroll from the right hand of the one who sat on the throne. When he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Along with their harps, the elders were holding vessels of gold filled with aromatic spices which were the prayers of God's holy people. This is the new hymn they sang. Worthy are you to receive the scroll and break open its seals, for you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. As my vision continued, I heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number, thousands and tens of thousands, and they all cried out, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, 
honor and glory and praise. Then I heard the voices of every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea. Everything in the universe cried aloud to the one seated on the throne and to the Lamb, be praise and honor, glory and might, forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. Worthy are you, Lord, to take the book and open its seals, for you were slain for us. With your blood you have purchased us for God. Alleluia. You have made us a kingdom of priests to serve our God. With your blood, you have purchased us for God. Alleluia. From the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy of the Second Vatican Council. In his desire that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, God spoke in former times to our forefathers through the prophets on many occasions and in different ways. Then, in the fullness of time, he sent his Son, the Word made man, anointed by the Holy Spirit to bring good news to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted as the physician of body and spirit and the mediator between God and men. In the unity of the person of the Word. His human nature was the instrument of our salvation. Thus, in Christ there has come to be the perfect atonement that reconciles us with God, and we have been given the power to offer the fullness of divine worship. This work of man's redemption and God's perfect glory was foreshadowed by God's mighty deeds among the people of the Old Covenant. It was brought to fulfillment by Christ the Lord, especially through the Paschal mystery of his blessed passion, resurrection from the dead, and ascension in glory. By dying, he destroyed our death, and by rising again, he restored our life. From his side, as he lay asleep on the cross, was born that wonderful sacrament which is the Church in its entirety. As Christ was sent by the Father, so in his turn he sent the apostles, filled with the Holy Spirit. They were sent to preach the gospel to every creature, proclaiming that we had been set free from the power of Satan and from death by the death and resurrection of God's Son and brought into the kingdom of the Father. They were sent also to bring into effect this saving work that they proclaimed by means of the sacrifice and sacraments that are the pivot of the whole life of the liturgy. So... By baptism, men are brought within the Paschal mystery, dead with Christ, buried with Christ, risen with Christ. They receive the spirit that makes them God's adopted children, crying out, Abba, Father. And so they become the true adorers that the Father seeks. In the same way, Whenever they eat the supper of the Lord, they proclaim his death until he comes. So, on the very day of Pentecost, on which the church was manifested to the world, those who received the word of Peter were baptized. They remained steadfast in the teaching of the apostles and in the communion of the breaking of bread, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. From that time onward, the church has never failed to come together to celebrate the Paschal mystery by reading what was written about him in every part of scripture, 
by celebrating the Eucharist, in which the victory and triumph of his death are shown forth, and also by giving thanks to God for the inexpressible gift he has given in Christ Jesus, to the praise of God's glory. I am the true vine, and you are the branches. Whoever lives in me, and I in him, brings forth much fruit. Alleluia. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. Whoever lives in me, and I in him, brings forth much fruit. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, look upon us with love. You redeem us and make us your children in Christ. Give us true freedom and bring us to the inheritance you promised. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.